Okay, I'm going to show you how to make an a micro SIM card from a regular SIM card. So you can set up your iPhone to run, let's say, T-Mobile, in my case. Okay, first thing we do, we have to open up the SIM card slot, which you can see right here. I choose to use a uh, earring post. You can use a paper clip or anything that will fit in there, or the key that actually comes with the iPhone. Just press it in there carefully, and it pops out. Now we carefully remove that. There's already one in there. So that's what that is. That's what that looks like. What we're going to do is we'll take the, the old one, we'll take it and make it a template for the new one. You just set it over here. The, the size of the SIM card, the actual data portion, the rest of this right here is all plastic. And just like the thickness of a credit card, approximately. The brass part is the part we're concerned about. If you look here, there's six contacts, there are points. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you look at the, uh, this one's used, so you can see where it made the marks in the SIM card. So now we're going to carefully line it up with the SIM card. You see what I'm talking about? You line the brass part up with the brass part, and then once you have it lined up, then you take your X-Acto knife and you scratch it. Let's get that out of the way. See, I'm pushing very hard to keep it from moving. You don't want to move it. You want it perfect. You saw the way that my other SIM card popped out of there. It was very tight. You want it a very precise fit in there so it doesn't jiggle around in there. So now that we have it marked, <clears throat> we'll take that off. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a marking on there. Then you take your scissors, a very good beefy pair of scissors, and then you take your scissors and you cut right exactly on the line. Not, not about exact. You carefully cut. As you're cutting, it'll want to turn on you. So you carefully hold it. There's that. Don't worry about that piece of flu. <laughs> Here comes the next one. Again, it's wanting to twist, so I'm having to hold it back to hit that line exactly straight. And then you get a little angle clip. And then the last section, right here. Again, we're not worried about cutting the brass part because it's all plastic yet. So now we've made our cuts. And then we clip the corners. Just clip them just a little bit. Because the uh, holder is that way. And then we've got our our little SD card. It looks like I missed the line actually. Let's see if that fits. And it only goes in one way. Nope, see? It doesn't fit. So see right there it's a little bit too long. And then, oh I know why, we didn't clip it on the other, the other edge here. See that? So now we're going to clip it. Closer. For some reason the mark didn't... Oh, I see the mark. Alright, carefully straight on. And then I cut again this thing. Clip that. 
and as you saw it was a little bit too long so we careful is the word you can always go to T-Mobile corporate stores and they will give you another SIM card but you don't want to do that and back up your data you want to back up your data if you don't back up your data that's your fault okay here we go now we'll see if that fits in there and we're almost there see it's taken a few a few tries at it now we've got this down look how, how nice and tight that fits we just have to shave this just a little bit more and then it'll pop in there so we'll flip it over <clears throat> this side we need to shave more now and it cuts fairly easy you just take your time and a nice sharp pair of scissors I think I paid two bucks for this pair of scissors and it's very sharp and it does a very wonderful job again I'm going to nick the corners that one's already nicked alright let's see how it goes and then we go like this and see that you hear it click it popped right in there you go now check this out see how perfectly that fits and you can see the contact marks now this is a used sim card I'm going to put my real sim card in there back in there it snaps in make sure it's fully in and smooth and then there's only one way to put this back into the there's only one way to put this back into the um, iPhone notice the hole match the hole up with the hole and carefully put it back in the slot and it is easy as pie now your iPhone's all set up notice to go. notice right there it, oops, let's do it that way. T-Mobile. How do you like them apples? Now you have your iPhone that runs on T-Mobile. There's other things that you need to do, but main thing is how to trim your SIM card and make it, it is now a micro SIM card. Thanks for looking.